We have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. I was wondering if you had a, your own personal metaphor for what empathy is like. Hmm. So what is empathy to me? Empathy is something about, um, it's something about be people being heard to their satisfaction, being heard the way they want to be heard, to be gotten. Um, so that their, their need for empathy is being met. And then if I'm, if I'm the person who is in the process of empathy with them and I'm seeking to support them to be heard that way, then metaphors come up that are more like what Marshall is saying, this kind of surfing. It's like following is often a term that my colleague John Kenyon and I use in our, our, our conflict resolution trainings. It's like, can I follow? Can I just be half a step behind? Reflecting back what I'm hearing is that kind of at the gist level or, or trying to name the needs. It's, it's, it's so following, surfing, that kind of metaphor is that I'm not telling, I'm not instructing, I'm not analyzing, I'm not giving my experience, I'm just following. Is it this? Is, is it this that you're feeling because you're needing? Is it, is it you're needing respect and you're kind of feeling irritated that what you're hearing this person say is just not meeting your need for respect? So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's a quality of of me not knowing and wanting the authority, who is the other, to tell me what's going on inside themselves and that I care what's going on inside them. And I want to understand it as best I can using this imperfect tool of language to communicate across the gulf of being separate well, beings. Well, it kind of complicated a little bit. Like, if empathy was a type of land, Mm -hmm. uh, what type of land would it be? Some kind of a scene, a scenery. You know, is it a, is it a mountain top? Is it a valley? Is it Yosemite? Uh, what kind of uh, a land would empathy be? It's really complicated here. For I don't think it would be. I mean, I I think that something someone might have the image somehow or another that it's tranquil or that it's peaceful or. That, but empathy is not to me is not necessarily that. It's just whatever whatever a person's state. Getting that now often, typically, a kind of peace and harmony and tranquility come out of a person being gotten. When they get gotten, they're kind of they're kind of done, and there's a kind of flowing out that takes place and a kind of letting go. And so I don't know, the landscape, uh, it's not a metaphor that's working okay. for me. I mean, something that comes to mind is, as we were talking is, it, initially I thought of like a, a mountain lake. If you look into a mountain lake, you can see the mountains, the forest, and if it's a storm, you'll see the storm. And uh, yeah. if there's a bird flying, you'll see the bird. So it could be any kind of a lake, for example. I, so, I, I like that. <laughs> I like that image. <laughs> I'll adopt that image, uh, and that and that the lake, it, the surface of the lake, is is kind of responding to what's it, the metaphor doesn't hold up to, to every extent, but it's just kind of responding. It's just showing what's there. It's kind of like a mirror that can be altered. The surface can be altered, and so if the storm comes, it just reflects the storm, and it's not judging whether there's a storm or not a storm, or whether it's peaceful and calm and the temperature's perfect, or whether it's frozen over. It's just the lake. So being, having empathic presence is that kind of just being connected with self and a willingness for the other to be as the other is. It's not in, in some kind of crazy way that if the other is presenting com some kind of danger to themselves or to me, emotional or physical, that I'm not going to do something, that I'm not going to act and be assertive in the world. I'm not talking about being passive. But still, in my presence, when I can, those times when I can, just be with people that are in conflict, it has this kind of image that you're talking about, just the lake reflecting what is. There's nothing wrong with what is. I just want to be clear that I understand what is for you and help you 
trust, help this other person here to, to, so you can trust that they also are just getting what is for you without judging what is for you, just getting, just being with what is for you. Doesn't mean that I like the conduct that you may be doing just because I'm willing to get what it is that is true for you. Doesn't have anything to do about me accepting the conduct that comes out of that for you. And I may be willing to act and act vigorously in order to circumvent some sort of conduct that I can't imagine any other way of doing it other than to act vigorously. Um, but still, I can, I can just be and demonstrate that I care and that I understand and then act too and restrain or use, use a, the, you know, escalating levels of force in order to limit uh, some kind of harm that would be created in the world that would not include the needs of others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the, the metaphors always break down at some point, and, uh, but they also shed some light. And if you're, you're doing video, it's nice to uh, have images <laughs> to kind of represent some of those things. With. Yeah. So that's why I like to kind of explore that. But.